KSL, your first alert five weather. Welcome back to News 5 at 10. That's a live look downtown Colorado Springs. We've got cloudy skies out there. Even a few snowflakes across parts of the Pikes Peak region. Live from Pueblo, that's looking out across the city. It's 34 with that breeze. It feels like 31 degrees. Have a live look for you from the hill. It is slick and icy across far northern El Paso County right now, and that road is going to deteriorate. If CDOT doesn't get out and put some treatment on it, it'll be slick for that commute tomorrow morning. So a good idea to allow yourself some extra travel time across northern El Paso County up into Metro Denver. Had a brief burst of snow up in Cripple Creek. That's live from Bennett Avenue. You can see Bennett Avenue is slick and icy right now and awfully cold. Current temperature is 12 degrees. There's that light snow I've been telling you about throughout this newscast. It doesn't amount to much, but as we know, it doesn't take much snow to polish up the roadways here when it's this cold. That light snow across portions of northern El Paso County, stretching up into Teller County. Really quiet in Pueblo right now, tracking more snow across far southern Colorado, places like La Vida Pass, all the way down to the New Mexico line. Pretty good band of snow out to the northeast of Trinidad. Here's what happens around here tomorrow. Again, if you're just joining us, we're going to be dry by sunrise tomorrow morning. Big story is going to be the cold air. Highest tomorrow, even a little colder than what we had today across the Pikes Peak region. Look for a mix of clouds and sunshine as we work through the day tomorrow. Slightly drier air trying to push in as we work into the afternoon hours. Stronger cold front gets here by midday on Thursday. It's going to bring in even colder air. We'll get an upslope behind that thing, so I think we'll have not only colder air, but going to squeeze out some snow as well. Right now, just looking like light snow here across eastern Colorado. By noon on Thursday, still dry. Here comes that snow just in time for the rush Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. That continues to spread down to the south by late Thursday night and sticks around through early Friday morning. Too early to tell you about snow accumulations with that thing, but again, right now, it looks like maybe a trace to two inches across parts of the Pikes Peak region. Afternoon highs today, much colder than yesterday. Pueblo only 38. Colorado Springs, 39. The best we could do, that's 15 degrees colder than an average high this time of the year. Outside right now, updated temperatures. We're in the teens, 20s, and 30s. Factor in that light breeze, and you get what it feels like, that wind chill. Right now in Monument, it feels like 12 degrees. Here's how cold we get on the thermometer tonight dropping back into the single digits and teens. So if you have to get out tonight and tomorrow morning, dress warmly, wear those heavy coats and the gloves. Afternoon highs tomorrow, absolutely frigid compared to where we should be this time of the year. And again, it's going to get colder later in the week. Here's your super seven day forecast in Colorado Springs. Want to break out Thursday because that's the day that next stronger cold front gets here. Evening snow showers continuing into Friday morning. Right now, it looks like just light accumulations here across the Pikes Peak region. You get a big helping of cold though. Look by Friday, a high of only 26 degrees. Then we get a slow warming trend as we work into the weekend. Pueblo unusually cold there is the main message for the rest of the week. Light snow possible late Thursday into Friday morning. Friday's high won't even hit freezing. Then a much needed, much deserved warming trend as you roll into the weekend and downright balmy by Sunday into Monday. Canyon City, this one won't win any popularity contest. It's cold and it's flaky by Thursday. Not going to be a big fall of snow the way it looks right now, but that cold air Friday is going to play for keeps. And in Woodland Park, cold air will be relentless for the rest of the week. Next storm brings light snow late Thursday into Friday morning. Just plan on some slick roads for that commute Friday morning. Diane?